guys welcome back to my channel um, I'm sure by now you all know who I am my name is Bui and I'm here to speak my mind once again but first things first before we get to our video I would like to to show my appreciation to everybody that subscribed to my channel everybody that viewed my last video that liked and all the comments they were very heartwarming very encouraging thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe again and like this one and comment on this one as well uh, let's get to today's video now today's video oh once again disclaimer i'm gonna keep on looking down because i have my notes here by me the topic of today is one of um the topics that are close to my heart once again because it's me sharing my story um, as a little person versus the fashion world the clothes yes the clothes um let's get to the first point i'm i'm i'm, I'm gonna uh, divide this topic into two parts i'm gonna do the pros and cons of um, me being a little person and the fashion world as well. Uh, let's start with the pros first. Uh, the first point is that I, I, I'm sure it's no rocket science that I wear kids clothes. So that is the first point. Um, I buy from the kitty section and the nice thing about that it's because they don't cost much. That is the first point. They don't cost much. Um, the second point is that um, I can get it almost everywhere. Like I can go to any shop, I will find the kitty's clothes and at a very affordable price. That's the nice thing. And the cons about it though is that I bump into so many kids that are wearing the same clothes as mine and that's not nice because I'm not a kid but yeah it is what it is that's the first con <laughs> um, the second one which this one I also find it very insensitive <clears throat> uh, judging by the fact that it's done by people that sh I would regard them as people that would understand my situation better which is the parents i would bump into kids and their moms and then their moms would be asking me where did i buy my clothes because they would like to buy for their kid as well and then that's that's very insensitive because you yes your kid might get my outfit but do you really have to tell me that you are buying you want to buy it for your kid just say i look nice and then move on so i really don't like that part about it uh, yeah it's it's just not cool i'm just hoping that all the moms that are watching they 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 now understand how it feels like don't ask me directly I'm sure you can find other other ways to ask me where I bought my kid my clothes. Just don't tell me you want to buy it for your kid. So yeah, that those are the the the, the cons which I don't like myself. And then the second part of this video is that I get to. I make my clothes, meaning I go to a, a designer and then the designer makes me my clothes, the kind of clothes that I would want to I would want to wear because not it's not all the time where I find kitty's clothes um, um, very nice or stylish for me since I'm an older person. So I opt another option is to go to a tailor and then or a designer and then the designer does the clothes for me so now that's an that's fun because at least they get to do what i really 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 want 
and this part as well also has the prawns and cons uh, the cons no the pros are I get to wear what I want so I will envision something and then uh, let the designer know what is it that I want and then the designer does what I want so it's it's pretty cool to think of something or see something and then you know that it, it can be done for you so that's that's a nice part about getting your clothes made and then another part is number two is um, I get to choose the material the material and the accessory on my outfit which is pretty cool as well uh, yeah because I, I I'm a very specific person I'm not a difficult one okay I'm just specific I'm a very specific person I know what is it that I want so I I make it a point that I, I buy what I want when it comes to um, me getting an outfit that's going to be made I mean material that's going to be made I make sure that I I look for exactly what I want so yeah those are the two cons about getting made getting clothes made for me and then the, the cons is that the designers sometimes they tend to be quite pricey because they know that I can't get it anywhere else except from them they have to make it for me so sometimes they tend to be quite pricey because they know that I'm kind of like desperate for it so that that's yeah that's not nice it's really really not nice and I'm, I'm really hoping if designers are going to be watching this just be reasonable with your prices as well because I'm already buying everything the material the accessories I'm even coming with the design it's just that I can't I can't sew in everything and then um, the second con is that sometimes I don't always get what I want like the designer cannot uh, make exactly what I want so now I I'm at a point where now I have to settle for whatever the, the designer was able to to do for me so now that that part is not nice but sometimes I understand we come as customers we come with very complicated things and then hoping that the designer will be able to to do it just as it is on the picture and that's not always the case so yeah sometimes we, i tend to get i tend to settle for things that she was able to do and it's which it's not exactly what i wanted but because I just I go on with the program and then um, the last corn it's that sometimes the designer messes up the outfit and not because they intended to but maybe they couldn't um, do exactly what I asked from them so the outfit is all ruined and maybe I have to go somewhere tomorrow and wear that outfit and now I'm left with one option to go to the kitty section like once again and maybe they don't even have the kind of style that I'm going for and I have to settle for going to the kitty section and go buy something that I never really intended of getting but because of the situation now I have to go to the kitty section to get it so now now that's that's not nice because I remember there was a time where I needed to to, to attain a certain event and what had happened is that a I needed an outfit I got it made but then the outfit wasn't really what I wanted so what they ended what I ended up doing was going to the kitty section once again and go buy from there because they ruined my outfit so that is that's one of the 
down parts about getting your clothes made now what i have recently discovered what has happened recently is that um i can now fit into average people's clothes but the double x s yeah double x s yes extra small i didn't know i only recently discovered that but i think it's because it never crossed my mind because i wasn't my as 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 we grow older our bodies change and everything so definitely mine changed and now i can fit into extra small which is pretty cool because for the first time in my life as an adult i can fit into an adult's outfit which was never possible in the beginning okay so that is very very awesome it's very awesome i remember um recently i, I celebrated my birthday and one of my friends bought me a a, a pretty cool dress it's a, extra small and it's for adults and i was able to fit in it so in short it's my favorite item in my wardrobe right now because it's it fits me and it's from adult section not kids section so that was pretty awesome and um i think with with clothes i can get away with a lot as compared to the shoes with the clothes i can get a lot i can get away with a lot as compared to the shoes because like i'm saying some of most of the kitty section clothes they are now um how can i say it they aren't as kiddies like like before today's kids they they wear clothes that you can even get a 32 year old wearing so that's that's pretty awesome so i i that's what i like most about um the, the buying from the kitty section the clothes but the shoes dear yeah, the struggle continues i still struggle I still struggle a lot like you would never find me wearing um stilettos and all of that shoes those kind of shoes not because it's not my cup of tea but it's because I cannot find stilettos that fit me because there aren't any they aren't even made in South Africa I think because the 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 high heels or the stilettos which um other little people around the world wear they import them they import they are made in united kingdom and uh united states of america now imagine i want a stiletto and i have to pay 20 20,000 for it just for one pair and what if i want five pairs i'm going to have to pop out like 50 back 50,000 for just five shoes no so yeah now that this one it's a sad part because i'm sure you you guys also everybody has a uh, something that they waste money on and with us ladies mostly it's clothes Uh, ladies love 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 clothes i'm no different but with me i don't really like clothes that much as compared to the way i love shoes so where i waste my money it's on shoes and i would have loved to also have stilettos and very high wedges and all of those things but i cannot because they are not made in south africa and i don't have that much money to get it imported from the united kingdom or the united states of america so i opt for what i can get which it's once again settling 
and not because I want to, but because there's no other way. So yeah, when it comes to the fashion world, when it comes to shoes, it's 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 really heartbreaking on my side. At least the clothes I can get it, I can get them made. With the shoes, I'm not. I don't think I can get them made because why I say that? It's because with shoes, with li- most little people, um, they suffer from or they have problems with their spine, right? So stilettos or high heels kind of shoes. If I want high heels they will have to be approved by a doctor i don't know what you call that doctor that works with the spine and all the stuff but then they will have to be um, approved by that doctor because uh, maybe i'm not allowed to wear very very high heels because they would do something to my spine and all of that so it's actually a lot of things that needs to happen medically before i can actually wear the high heels or the kind of heels that I would like to wear and except for the fact that I will I will have to get them imported so even if I could get somebody from South Africa that does that makes shoes from the start like from the beginning that person would have to um, get in touch with um, the medical um, the medical field first before they can make me the kind of shoe that I want so yeah that that's um, that's a sad part about it that's the sad part about the fashion world and a little person but I'm hopeful I'm hopeful I hope that the fashion world the people that are in the fashion world watch this video so that they can see my struggle because I know I'm not the only one that's struggling there's a whole lot of us that are struggling and I, I'm hoping that they can help us out. They can help us out because we also want to look pretty, we look, we look um, older because we are not kids. We want to look pretty and we want to look older and look all kinds of nice. So yeah, that was the purpose of my video today. It's to show you guys um, the good part about being a little person in the fashion world and the not so good part about um, being a little person in the fashion world and also um, throwing in the medical field as well because with us everything just have most of the things have to be approved by the medical field. So the medical field actually plays quite a, a, um, an important role in us little people. So I, 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 I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned about our struggles when it comes to the fashion. And I'm hoping that something will happen. I don't know what. But then I'm hoping that something will happen because at the end of the day, we also want to look cute, sexy, and yeah, I, I hope something will happen. But then nonetheless, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have learned something once again today because remember, I did say this channel, we are go- we. I'm more educational more than anything about people like me and people that are similar to me because I don't want you guys to be stepping on other people's toes or me doing the same. So I hope you have learned something again once again today about us, the fashion and the medical field. So until next time, thank you so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let's keep the conversation continuing in the comment section. And thank you. I will see you on my next one. 
And don't forget, the aim is never to take away from anything, but for you to take away something from everything I said.